Hi and welcome to this video uh, about sketching and wireframing a website. I have uh, have had uh, uh, a few requests on, you know, elaborating on this subject and talking more about it, and I will do that uh, in this video and in a few of the videos that are to come because I'll go deeper into the subject subject and talk more about not only sketching and wireframing the front page but also uh, s uh, some of the sub pages. Um, so if you don't know me my name is Chris and I'm a full-time web designer and developer and I have this YouTube channel where I talk about web design development uh, information architecture uh, user experience design and uh, experience economy which are all things that I think is very important when uh, doing web design or marketing uh, in general. Um, so if you like this video please feel free to uh, hit the like button and uh, click the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. I try to put out uh, uh, new videos a few times a month um, and get, get some uh, good quality out there. But Getting started with uh, this subject, I just wanted to take a look at uh, some of the um, some of the elements or some of the features we wanted to 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 put on this front page, uh, which where, uh, which is, is where we are starting. And this is actually a, a a real life example because it's a real product project that I'm doing right now. So if you look at the list here, we have the logo, we have a search bar, we have a login button, um, main menu, billboard, uh, and I'll, I'll get back to what this is uh, uh, when we're taking a look at the sketch, and um, focus, uh, projects, news, blog, uh, calendar, contacts, uh, social media links and newsletter sign, sign up. This is uh, all features on this uh, website. Some of them are specific to the front page and some of them are you know uh, 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 included in all the uh, pages in the header or in the footer. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, how I sketched out um, this website or this front page. So as you can see here, you don't need to have any kind of drawing skills to sketch out a website. You don't even have to have a pen that works very well. Uh, <laughs> but you know, getting started in the left upper corner, we have the logo. And as I've uh, talked about in uh, earlier videos, there are some elements that you just want to put this the same place each and every time you do a website because it's it's like you know driving a car the the um, the steering wheel the pedals and and some of the the components in a car all are all placed the same way uh, in each and every car because it uh, it is so much easier for the user to just you know get into the car and start driving instead of uh, each and every time they they get a new car you have to learn a whole whole new way of uh, of driving the same thing with websites so the logo is in the top left corner um, and I've sketched it out so that it you know somewhat uh, is, is relative to the logo's uh, dimensions um, and the top right corner we have the search uh, bar and the search bar is uh, usually up here usually in the header section of the page uh, and again uh, search bar is really important for uh, especially uh, uh, mobile users and, and tablet users because a lot of these users use the search bar to uh, to find the content. Next to, uh, next, next to the search bar we have the login button again uh, usually found in the top right uh, uh, quarter of the website and people will be looking for it there and uh, because this is a Drupal website we want people to log in uh, to be able to access the forums and uh, the content manager just, uh, has to be able to log in and uh, add content. Next, uh, the main menu. The main menu is, uh, I think it's it's uh, five items. We can go into the the information architecture later on, but I think it's it's five five items with uh, drop downs, and you can uh, see one of my earlier videos on structuring navigation uh, menus. Uh, and again, 
putting it in the header section next to the logo uh, is just crucial to to uh, make it in e make it easier for people to navigate the website the billboard or some people call it the highlights is where you will put your brand text or it could be a product focus or a focus on services really if you just want people to leave uh, only uh, seeing one thing on your website this would be it because this is uh, front page uh, because this is uh, you know this is where you tell where you tell your users or, or the visitors what this page is all about or what this business does in this uh, example it's a non-profit I'm doing this website for so uh, this is where their brand text would be and telling people what they do Next up, we have the focus boxes, and this is actually just uh, images with a, a single headline uh, describing uh, different kinds of projects. And uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't illustrate a fold here, but um, people, uh, a lot of people talk about designing above the fold. The fold being the uh, bottom, uh, uh, bottom of the screen. So. Uh, Early on, uh, some people uh, had the theory that people wouldn't scroll and wouldn't scroll down a page, so they would only see what was above the fold on the on the website. Uh, that's not really true. A lot of people tend to scroll down and just uh, skim the information on the website. But make sure that you know uh, these focus boxes and the news box uh, beside it just peek above the the um, uh, the, the fold line. So people, uh, so people can see that there are more, there is more content uh, down there. Um, the news box uh, is great to have on the front page, giving dynamic content, giving people the feeling that uh, something happens on this this website. Also, just remember to to uh, to get your clients, uh, you know, get get this section updated. You don't want very old news to be displayed here. Um, under the, underneath the focus box we have a calendar you know again uh, just uh, telling people that uh, that this this nonprofit has different uh, different uh, events and so on and people will be easily able to click into these events and, and check them out blog section same as the news section just you know uh, bigger blog articles um, Great for SEO, great for dynamic content, and and so on. Um, and the rest of the page is actually the footer. And left on the left we have a section with contact contact information. I think it's very important to have uh, the contact information easily uh, displayed on the website if you really want people to contact you. And uh, and we talked about you know doing the phone number in bold and just making it easy uh, for people to to find this uh, information and uh, most users today tend to look at the uh, footer for these informations in the middle column uh, we have the social links and this is just you know uh, icons links to uh, facebook youtube whatever uh, this nonprofit uses and uh, at the far right in the footer section we have the newsletter sign up and this is just uh, a quick text you know about what what is uh, what is the 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 newsletter containing and a box so just so you'll be able to to sign up and having these information statically on every page is so very important because this is sort sort of the the interactivity the the way that people can you know get to know the the nonprofit get in contact uh, uh, in in different ways and I I like you know people to get to have the the, the ability to get in contact with a company a business or a nonprofit uh, in different ways so people can choose how to. Uh, to contact them, uh, what what they like the most, and actually there is an, an element on the on this sketch that I I didn't put in there. Uh, below the footer, I uh, I like to just put you know uh, privacy information, legal information, who's the web designer, and so on and so on. You've seen it uh, a bunch of times, but 
this is this is the the overall uh, sketch for the, the the front page, and as I said, the header elements and the footer elements uh, is going to to uh, to stay on each and every page, but the main content is going to change. And in later videos, I'll be going deeper into um, defining this and uh, and uh, you know, showing how to make different kinds of uh, pages. I hope that this uh, elaboration <laughs> uh, uh, was an answer to some of your questions. If not, feel free to type them in the comment section below, write me an email or uh, connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so don't be, a, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.